Step into the life of Jim Baxter, known as Slim Jim. He was a star in football, playing brilliantly for teams like Rangers and the Scotland national team. His most famous moment came in a game against England in 1967. But Jim's life wasn't just about football success. He also had tough times, especially with his drinking habits. Let's find out how Jim managed the ups of his sports career and the downs of his personal life, revealing the story of a man full of talent and facing big life challenges. Jim Baxter was born on September 29, 1939, in the mining town of Hill of Beath, Scotland, a place deeply rooted in working-class values and a strong passion for football. Growing up in a close-knit community, Jim was the youngest of three children in a family where life was modest but full of love and support for his interests. From a young age, Jim showed a natural talent for football, playing with friends in local fields and on the streets of his hometown. This environment, where football was a way of life, played a crucial role in nurturing his skills and love for the game. His father, who was a miner, and his mother, a homemaker, encouraged his sporting pursuits, even though they were aware of the challenges and uncertainties of a professional sports career. Jim attended Beath High School, where his passion for football continued to grow, often standing out in school matches and local youth clubs. Despite the financial and social challenges of the time, his family and community saw something special in his football abilities and supported his dream of playing professionally. His early experiences were marked by more than just football. They were about overcoming adversity, honing his skills in an environment that was far from the glamorous world of professional sports. These formative years laid the foundation for his future. Jim Baxter's journey into professional football wasn't easy. He started playing seriously in his teenage years, but moving from street football to the professional level brought big challenges. One of the first hurdles was his physical size. Jim wasn't the biggest or strongest player, which made some people doubt if he could make it in the tough world of professional football. Despite these doubts, Jim's skill and determination stood out. He first caught the eye of scouts while playing for local teams in his hometown, showcasing his natural talent and football intelligence. His ability to control the game and make decisive plays made him a standout player, even at a young age. Jim's big break came when he signed with Wraith Rovers, a professional club that saw his potential despite the challenges he faced. This step was huge for Jim, moving from amateur football to the more demanding professional level. It was a time of big changes for him, as he had to adapt to the rigorous training schedules, improve his physical condition, and learn to cope with the pressures of professional sports. At Wraith Rovers, Jim started to make a name for himself, honing his skills and becoming increasingly important to the team. His time at the club was a crucial period, where he developed not just as a player but also in character, laying the groundwork for what was to become a legendary career in football. Jim Baxter's move to Rangers, a big football club in Scotland, marked the start of an impressive part of his career. This transition happened in 1960, when Rangers noticed his talent and decided he was the right fit for their team. Joining Rangers was a significant step up for Jim, putting him in the spotlight of Scottish football. At Rangers, Jim quickly became a key player. His ability to control the midfield, combined with his skill in passing and dribbling, made him stand out. He wasn't just playing, he was entertaining, often showing a flair that delighted fans and frustrated opponents alike. During the early 1960s, Jim's impact on Rangers was huge. He helped the team win several important trophies, becoming a hero to the Rangers fans. His style of play, which combined creativity and precision, played a big part in the team's successes. Under his influence, Rangers enjoyed a period of dominance in Scottish football, winning league titles and cup competitions. Jim Baxter's ascent to a key player at Rangers was marked by significant achievements and defining moments. Initially, he showcased his potential in domestic competitions, playing a pivotal role in Rangers' victories. Baxter's influence extended beyond Scotland as he impressed in European tournaments, demonstrating his ability to compete against top international clubs. His playing style evolved, showing not only finesse and control but also strategic thinking and leadership on the field. Baxter wasn't just a midfield engine. He was a tactician, often outsmarting opponents with his quick thinking and precise decision-making, off the field, Baxter's charisma and confidence translated into leadership, inspiring teammates and earning the respect of both fans and adversaries. His contributions to Rangers during this period were not merely about individual accolades, but also about shaping the team's identity and success. As his reputation grew, 
Baxter became a figure synonymous with Rangers' golden era, influencing future generations and setting standards for midfield excellence. His journey from a promising talent to a football legend was a testament to his extraordinary skills and enduring impact on the sport. Jim Baxter's standout international performances against England, particularly in 1963 and 1967, underscored his legendary status in Scottish football. In 1963, Baxter was pivotal in Scotland's two. One win, scoring both goals despite the team being a man down after Eric Caldo suffered a leg break from Bobby Smith's tackle. His prowess on the field was again prominently displayed in the 1967 game against the reigning World Cup champions England. Baxter's confident ball juggling in this match, while waiting for teammates to get into position, exemplified his skill and cheeky nature, contributing to Scotland's memorable three. Two victory at Wembley. These incidents highlight Baxter's influence and mastery in midfield, where his ability to control the game's pace and his audacious personality shone through. While Baxter received much acclaim for the 1967 victory, there was commentary suggesting he could have exploited the advantage to secure a bigger win. Despite this, his contributions in these games were critical, enhancing his reputation as a top-tier player and securing his place as a cherished figure in Scottish football's rich history. These moments filled with flair and effectiveness remain pivotal in Baxter's career, solidifying his legacy as a footballing great and a national hero in Scotland. Jim Baxter, although he didn't receive many awards like Player of the Year during his time, is still celebrated for his football talent. He's remembered in football's Hall of Fame, showing he was one of the best. People still talk about his great skills and what he did in football, keeping his memory alive. Jim Baxter faced several challenges throughout his career and life. One of the main issues he encountered was injuries, which are common in sports, but can greatly affect a player's performance and career longevity. For Baxter, injuries at crucial times impacted his ability to play consistently and at his best. Besides physical challenges, Baxter was known for his lifestyle off the field, which included controversies related to his love for nightlife and drinking. This lifestyle often made headlines and led to concerns about how it affected his health and football career. His off-field behavior was sometimes seen as controversial, creating a reputation that followed him throughout his career and even after he stopped playing. Jim Baxter experienced several key moments that significantly impacted his life and career. His transfer to Sunderland marked a major change, moving from Scottish football to the English league. This shift presented new challenges and opportunities, testing his skills against different competitors and in a new environment. Baxter's time in English football, including his stint at Nottingham Forest, was notable but mixed with success and difficulties, reflecting the ups and downs of his career. Despite showing flashes of his talent, his time in England was often overshadowed by his off-field lifestyle, which affected his performance and reputation. Eventually, Baxter retired from professional football, a major turning point in his life. Retirement led him into a different phase, where he had to adjust to life without the routine and spotlight of professional sports. After retiring from playing, Baxter's involvement in football and public life took different forms. While he didn't have a high-profile role in football management or punditry, his legacy in the sport remained strong. Jim Baxter's personal life was as colourful and interesting as his football career. He was known for his lively personality and love of socialising, which made him a well-known figure both on and off the pitch. Baxter was not just a footballer, he was also a family man, although his off-field activities often attracted as much attention as his on-field performances. Baxter had relationships and family commitments that were an integral part of his life. He had children and was known to be a charismatic and engaging figure at home, sharing his life with those close to him. His love for life's pleasures, including music and social events, was evident in how he spent his time away from football. Jim Baxter faced significant health struggles, largely due to his lifestyle, particularly his heavy alcohol consumption. This lifestyle took a toll on his health, leading to serious liver problems. In 1994, Baxter underwent liver transplants, a clear sign of the severe impact his drinking had on his body. These health battles were a wake-up call, highlighting the consequences of his off-field activities. Despite the surgeries and the warnings, Baxter's health issues continued to be a concern. Jim Baxter died on April 14, 2001, at the age of 61. His passing was attributed to pancreatic cancer, but his years of heavy drinking and the related health issues undoubtedly played a role in his premature death. 
His struggles with health and his eventual death serve as a stark reminder of the potential costs of a lifestyle marked by excesses, especially for professional athletes. Jim Baxter was more than just a football player. He was a man known for his unique personality and amazing talent. On the field, he showed great skill and leadership, making a big impact in Scottish football. Off the field, he was charming and lively, leaving a strong impression on everyone he met. His legacy is huge in Scottish football. Jim Baxter is remembered as a fantastic player who brought excitement to the game. He has inspired many young players to follow their dreams in football. Even though he is no longer with us, his name and the way he played are still celebrated and looked up to, making him a true football legend.